This will do. Thank you, Eivor. Anything to help you feel at home. I am most at home helping others. May we return to the subject of your visions? We could, if you think it worth something. I need one more ingredient to finish an elixir for you. Look around the pond there. You will find what I require. Once brewed, this elixir will help you dive deeper into your visions, to see them more clearly. I have the plants you need. Good, good. Once added to the elixir, it will be ready to drink. In taking this, you will have access to the All Father's wisdom. You will walk the path of Odin and live as he lived so long ago. Prepare yourself for a journey into another time, another plane. The elixir is ready. It will taste like misery itself, but it will open your mind to the sights and sounds of the Nine Worlds.
The prophecies of the Nonir are as clear as daylight. The Aesir are doomed. All Asgard is doomed. Repeat the last passage. Brothers will fight one another and kill one another. The home of the gods turns red with gore. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. Not this. Further along. The foretelling of a wolf. A great beast. The wolf Fenrir howls terribly before the gates to hell. The beast will break its bonds and run. And my part. What about me? Then comes the second great sorrow. When the Harvey goes to fight the wolf. And falls to Fenrir. And falls to Fenrir. It's there, you see? You have foretold my death. Your Harvey will die. We speak what we see. We know your fate. Your destiny. Have you gleaned enough, O oh wise one? You three spin our destinies as a thread in fabric, but threads may be unraveled by snags and catches. Not all can be foreseen, but loose threads can be rewoven or restrung. At day's end, the tapestry will be preserved. I am no string to be plucked or tied. I am the High One, the Lord of Ecstasy, the enemy of the Wolf. I am eternal. Riddled words only cloud my thoughts. The storm is brewing. Not in the clouds, but down below. Does our final battle draw near? Is this how Ragnarok begins? devise a strategy to deal with these invaders, Thor. You cannot smash your way out of certain death. Who crushed the skull of Thrymur, King?
Booty's balls. We are as guardians. We don't skulk around like elves. We fight! We are fighting. For our homes, for our people. But some problems can't be solved with the hard end of a hammer. Name one. Harvey, break our stalemate. What's this? Another invasion? Warriors from Jotunheim. They attack from all fronts. While we sit on our trembling hands and scratch our bums. Not so, Thor. Many Aesir have been sent to the four corners of Asgard, leaving we four to defend the Great Hall. Havi, lend me a score of your warriors and I will lead them into Jotunheim myself. We cannot afford such a loss. The Ain Hariar must hold back to defend our city. I would bring them here, to hold the Great Hall itself. This invasion is too large to spread ourselves around. All this prattle solves nothing. Battle or death! Silence! All of you! We will take the fight to the enemy before they cross the Bifrost. Well said, Ravenfeeder. Name those who may fight beside you. I need only one. You, Freya. Queen of Asgard. Will you fight at my side? I'm with you, Havi. Let the Bifrost shimmer with the blood of their dead. The rest of you, stay back to protect the Great Hall. Were any creatures among the Jotnar? Dragor, trolls, or wolves? What troubles you, Havi? Does your far side tell you something? More invaders! They gather at the Bifrost Bridge! Where's Loki? He should be guarding that door! Warn the others. The fight begins. Come, Havi. Tonight we drink and swive, but now's the hour we prove our might. With me, the rest of you guard the Great Hall. <laughs> With me, I gift this battle to myself. will shred their illusions. Blood for Asgard! Say hello to Jormungandr! Thank <laughs> you. 
Guarding this gate, and yet it was left open. What's that? You've done us no favors either. Harvey, I found this one lurking in the shade. Shying from battle. Shall I extract some teeth to get him talking? Or pluck out an eye? You were told to guard this portal, Loki. What happened? The portal opened, and these soldiers came bleeding through. So I sent warning straight away. And I captured this one, the soggy jowled sheep herder. <coughs> What's your name, stranger? I am called the Builder, by most. She wants your name, not your trade. If I have another name, it's not within my memory. Builder it's been for as long as I've been... building things. Do you come from Jotunheim? I do. Or I did. That is to say, I passed through... But I am not of that place, which pleases me well, for I hated it. Had you any dealings there? As a builder, yes. For a time. But they took a dislike to my methods, which are, shall I say, magical in nature. Harvey, when someone gifts you a horse, you ride it. I put a bridle on this one. Is that right, Builder? Are you a gift horse? Or a secret curse? Neither, High One. I am only a tool. One with hopes to be well used. This portal has been a source of misery for some time. I want it sealed. With respect, this is not the only way the Jotnar can enter Asgard. May I propose a more encompassing solution?
We have tried all manner of barriers, and still we are breached. What makes you think yours could keep out giants, or worse? I've been among the giants. Learned their weaknesses. My shield will succeed where yours have failed. If you doubt me, I could offer a demonstration. A demonstration, yes. And if he fails to impress, we hoist his skin as a sail. I'll accept these terms, with the last condition. I would need water from your well of Urth. What do you know of our sacred well? It's a place of great power and vital magic, a source of spirit. It's the water there that will power your shield. I'll collect the water, Harvey. Keep this one clear of our sacred sites. Loki, halt. I will go to the well. You must find this builder a clearing for his display. No, no, it's no trouble, Harvey. The damp and the dark appeal to me. Go with the Builder, then return to the Great Hall with news of our next step. As you command. An interesting offer. A curious coincidence.